I'll give you an example of what spread can look like. It's pretty exciting. I mentioned uh, uh, Andy Knox, the GP in Morecambe Bay, who, having s detected this this project called the Daily Mile in one school in Scotland that was written about, he thought, oh, we can use it here in a stressed community with high risks uh, as, as a, and as an ambassador, uh, an entrepreneur, in conjunction with lay management, in conjunction with the school administration, first convincing one school to adopt this for all of its 600 children, which they do, then numerous schools in that immediate area, uh, and now has the plan of bringing that whole process of daily Daily, the Daily Mile to all of Lancashire. So whether it's through the online collaboration tool, whether uh, Cahoots, whether it's um, through the webinars, or whether it's through people actually visiting, using um, all of the access to the networks that people use informally and getting people to be able to see it and feel it and touch it in practice. The solutions we're working on, we've got uh, a number of different work streams within our vanguard. Uh, one of them is the OD leadership stream, um, but we're also working to share best practice between one clinical pathway and the next, so that what we're learning in stroke, we are sharing with the cardiologists, what we're learning in uh, cardiology, we're sharing, sharing with the radiologists, and also we've got an underpinning uh, piece of work which is about a uh, single care record, dorsal care record, that uh, will allow us all to collaborate a lot more effectively going forward. I have talked in all the forums I'm in about my role. I give regular reports and I try to encourage and energise people. I have felt today at this conference far more energised and able to go home and talk about it than I did in a similar spread conference a year ago. So I think that real progress is being made. So in the short time frame we're working with all of those clinical engagement superstars who can go out and give this message consistently and continuously and won't tire of it. And then in the longer term, then we're moving towards our STP plans, thinking about the whole out of hospital agenda so that we can target everybody working with older people wherever they might live because in an aging population world, this is everybody's business.